Uh, so this is the way you want to properly glitch your bounties out when you're doing this. Sure. There's a lot of videos circulating around and I'm telling you it's the wrong way of doing it. See, my Willard's bounty pay, uh, my Willard's bounty is done. Now I'm just going to finish my 20,000 earned. I'll just quickly get that done. It doesn't take too, too long. I'm just showing this with both because it does work as both and you're, you're kind of silly not to. You might as well do the salvage bounty with your keys at the same time because every time that you join a game you're going to see what's about to happen here because you're going to get the full view. I got this on cell phone. You're going to be able to see this truly from beginning to start, not the other ways that you're just kind of half ass seeing it and doing it the wrong way, the really extremely slow way, uh, truly. I wonder if this counts as earning money. Let's see. So <laughs> those little scrubs. I'll put another grand in, see if it counts as earning it. I don't think so though. You gotta be kidding me. I didn't think yeah, alright, so there's a way of completing that too. I never really thought about that. You can go put all your money into the bank and then take it back out and it counts as earning it. Uh, um, I'm quite far off. Though. Okay, so with that being said, just the same thing. You just want to complete that bounty. It's just going to take me a minute in this video. I really don't want to do that. It's going to be a longer stream that way. Um, so now I have my bounty complete, right? Now all I'm going to do, as you can see, bounty complete. I'm going to leave the game. That's all you got to do. Now next thing, you just go custom games, start, it doesn't matter what you do. Now as you can see, I'm going to go to my bounties, it's complete. I'm going to go to my zombie crates. I do not have my, my key drop, correct? Go into start match. Now my, again, bounty complete. You don't need to go into, into pubs for this. This is, this is where the speed of it comes in. Now regardless of whatever your bounty is, you go do that in a game, in a public match. You just go complete your bounty completely, and then you go into your separate custom game and do it just like you see here. There is a little bit of timing, you don't want to do it too late, but what I do, as you can see, I'm spamming start, going to leave game, I go to yes, pull cord. One second survived, as you can see, just close out. Every time, reinsert ethernet, Go back into game. And once it loads up, you will see that we have our bounty completed as still, and we have still gotten our bounty out of it. Just the old, same way as the old methods, however, you do not need to go into a game to get your kill. You literally, your bounty is complete. All you have to do is go in and essentially blue screen. When it says end game, pull cord immediately. So here we go. As you can see, bounty is still complete. Zombie crate, there's my keys, right? Uh, this is a simple rinse and repeat. I'll just show you again just to show you the bounty is not actually complete. It will give me another. It'll give you as many as you want. And uh, I get a little pro tip with doing this is stack as many as you can and on double keys open them up because it's going to give you double of whatever the bounty was. Yeah, so if it's on a, a 90, you're going to get 180 keys every, for every crate you open on double. Let's quickly run through this once more. Pause, leave game, pull. If you get that aspirin, you're obviously doing it right.
I run to myself, so there we go. <laughs> Attractive garbage to eleven. Uh, there you go. Two key drops. Bounty is still complete. I'm just gonna show you just a way to figure out if maybe you screwed your bounty up before you go into another game. So you can just go go to a custom game again. And as soon as you press start, that bounty saying bounty complete on your pause menu should not be there if the bounty is truly complete. If it's glitch completed, it's going to still sit there and say bounty complete. Now, the big thing with Infinite Warfare where, there, where the rewards kick in is with the blue screen, essentially where it says end game, where you see your, your points that you got, the time you survived. However, as soon as that blue screen comes up, you want to be fairly fast to pulling your ethernet. So when it says end game, pull ethernet. Because it can, <clears throat> there is a little bit of timing right there. You don't want to leave it too late. Now you can see it still has board up 50 windows, bounty complete, I'll leave game again, got another 30 keys. So as you can see this is probably about 3 to 4 times faster than any other method that's been streamed on YouTube before because they keep wanting to tell you to just keep completing your bounty, just go in and get your last kill, get your last mystery box hit, or pop another fake card. As you can see this is a hell of a lot faster. Anyway guys that's about it for today. <coughs> Just figured I'd show you guys that the true way of doing it. I've been watching a lot of a lot of random ways and I uh, just figured I'd share the the proper way for you guys. Alright, have a good day guys.